Blizzard, your band system sucks. So, let me introduce myself. Um, I, in no way, am doing any of this playing Overwatch for a living. You know, I stream on Twitch, but I, and I think I have like three videos on YouTube or something. But I, in no ways is this even a professional uh, thing for me. That being said, I feel like I, I speak as a person that plays this in a very casual basis. Let me start on like why I get reported, why I feel like I get unjustly targeted. I play off meta heroes a lot. Sombra, Genji, you know. Heroes that people normally aren't good with, but here I am, I go a hero, and I get reported for it. Because I like to play the entire roster, I don't know why I should have to play heroes that someone else decided for me. And I'll have games where, you know, I'm getting the picks, but the other the other uh, DPS is running Soldier or Farah and they're not getting anything. But because I'm on the off meta hero, I get reported. Also, a lot of people just, they get butthurt by comments. It's like, you know, a lot of people get butthurt about certain things like comments and suggestions. Hey, maybe we should uh, have more hit scan, take out that Farah. Hey, maybe we should have a shield tank. I mean, I don't think it's unjust comments. But I literally feel like I can't say anything. I can't say I should like I I literally feel like I'm being silenced by these reports. Like what am I supposed to do? Just play the game and not say anything? Accept my fate? I'm in competitive, I'm trying to rank up. I I literally just give suggestions, but because I, I queue solo, because <laughs> You know, because I'm not with my group of four other friends, you know, I make one suggestion, I'm the odd one out, I get reported by all of them, you know, and I played, <laughs> I played the game like almost 1600 hours, I have the plat border, a lot of people, they just assume, oh, this guy, he's gonna carry, if he doesn't carry, I'll report him, you know, and I always, I always get those comments, oh, what's a... What's a plat border doing in gold? What's a plat border doing in silver? Well, you know what? I literally haven't even tried to rank up. This season, I tried to rank up. I've gone, like, out of 10 games. I've been maining fair this season. Out of 10 games, I think I've won 8 of them before I started branching off to different heroes. And one of them was because we had a lever, and another one, uh, <laughs> there was a guy throwing. So realistically, if all those games were fair, I guess, I would probably would have won all of them. I don't, I don't, I'm not, you know, I got, I got my, uh, support, I got my, uh, healer in, uh, plat. I'm just ranking up my DPS, but it's really hard. I think it's easier to carry support in tank than it is DPS. You need a team for DPS. Leads me back to the beginning that before the match even starts, because I have that high ranking border, or high level border, like, if I don't carry, I'm trash. And that's not the case. I'm just like anyone else. <laughs> but because of these expectations, I'm at a loss. And because of that, I get reported. Why? <laughs> Why are people getting away with... I think it's wrong how individuals or groups can just mass report players with no consequences for false reports. They're abusing the system and I don't understand why like, they can get away with that. It's just like Overwatch implements a system of just crybabies. That just can report and get someone banned that shouldn't be banned. And on top of that, <laughs> literally Blizzard has, has systems in place they don't want to hear this they can turn it off you can turn off your chats you can mount mute people and then they have reports on top of that 
I don't understand that. Like, I, I literally think the system is broken. People, because people are, are abusing the system. You know, solo players just are at a loss. And it's just safer to play with people, with groups. But even with groups, like, let's say you go to Party Finder. You get into a group. Okay. They're all, like, I've, I've gotten into groups where they're all, like, Masters, Diamond. And you play, you play one game. It's like your first game of the day. And you maybe didn't play your best. And then they boot you from the group and they all, they all report you. <laughs> like, how is that fair? But this just leads me to, like, it's just really not fair on people who play a lot. Versus people, like, that person that, like, the players that will make, like, Smurf accounts. And then they go really toxic. Or they, they go and throw tons of games. Like, they basically have a troll account. Like, you know a lot of people are making Smurf accounts because they get banned. So, this, this system is basically making more, more Smurf accounts. Which unbalance games. And makes your player base just more toxic because there's lots of Smurfs. You're banning people that shouldn't be banned. And then there are people that should be banned that aren't because they're on a Smurf account. They, they play once a week, and they can throw games. They can run cheats and not get banned. And I know they don't get banned because Blizzard tells you people get banned. <laughs> and I reported an obvious aimbot cheaters, and they don't get banned. I only use a report system for cheaters leavers and people who are flaming their teammates or using very harsh abusive chat towards their teammates or even the enemy team oh and people who are inactive just standing still blizzard could have improvements on the report system they could have certain areas where you can send these support and certain areas you can't so let's say you're playing there's basically four different areas in, in four major uh, game modes in the game. There's comp, quick play, classic quick play, and mystery heroes. Because those are going to be the ones you get grouped up with random people. I know a lot of people play custom games, but no one's going to really get toxic in custom games. Or deathmatch. <laughs> you know? So, the two out of those four areas, the the two areas that are the more serious ones, I would say, is comp and regular quick play. The reason I say regular quick play is that has the enforced 2 2 2. You know, I feel like quick play is the practice to comp, which is why I think comp and quick play should be the areas where you can report. And classic quick play mission heroes, it should be the areas where people are just enjoying themselves, I guess. Like, I think the system should be in place where in like classic quick play mission heroes you know obviously cheaters or uh, people throwing but other than that it's whatever like I don't I don't understand I don't know I just I think there's a lot of severity towards people who play a lot and play alone versus they just implement this don't talk don't try <laughs> and just group up if you're not with friends you're, uh, you're at a loss I'm not very good at making these kind of videos I'm just unhappy with being suspended because of other people it's out of my control I know other people share the same opinion I just hate to see gaming go in this direction I hate to see Blizzard being such a g huge gaming company go this way Overwatch being one of my favorite games, this video is just for awareness. I hope we can all evolve and not digress. I want to be, I want to have a more productive culture, so let us take steps in the right direction and, and not bend over to crybabies and unworthy pieces of.